all right everybody we're back for another video uh unfortunately i had an awesome intro for this video here but for some reason i couldn't get it to edit right so i'll just try better next time and see what i can come up with so this is after the dozer work over on the utilities i came back to work on the water line and hardly rake out the remainder of the dirt uh we had some issues with the meter and had some issues with scheduling and weather but uh, ultimately it all got done uh, this was monday and i'd got there about five o'clock before sun come up and realized that the city had a noise ordinance at seven so i pedaled around for two hours uh greasing and fueling and getting a couple things done and about the time i was going to get started work with the daylight and the ra the uh noise ordinance go away it uh started raining uh, so i sat here for an hour hoping the rain would blow over and it never did so i ended up uh going home and hoping that the conditions on tuesday were going to be just as good as they were on monday which thankfully they were but with the scheduling and the delay i was a little bit more rushed so i didn't get the kind of videos i was hoping to but you'll still get the gist of everything uh, between the water meter and pulling the electrical cable and a couple other uh things i did while i was there i knocked down some trees and a few other odds and ends but overall it, it still went all all went great this ground right here while it is clay it's exactly what we want for hardy raking it's wet and crumbly but it's not dry and dusty and it's not too muddy where my tracks are going to compact the ground too much this is exactly what i want to see now like i said it's not topsoil but red clay will Harley rake out just as well as topsoil, but that moisture content is perfect. Well, I'm calling it. With any luck, I guess I'll be back tomorrow. So I'm back on my way to the basement job, see how muddy it is. It's kind of late in the morning. But I know it was muddy this morning, so I'm hoping with this wind and sun we've got, it's a little bit more manageable. Uh, most of it set up to drain correctly, but there's still going to be some soft spots. So my main concern will be straddling a ditch with a Harley rake or an excavator and, and caving or, or dropping in. But we're going to go check it out and see how it looks. First step was pull all this dirt away from the road, so when I Harley raked it out, it wouldn't throw it off in the fresh gravel. Once I got the first bucket work out of the way, I'm gonna take the bucket off here and throw the Harley rake on. If you watch right here, you'll notice I dropped the bucket. Uh, this is just because I was being lazy. Uh, I didn't lock the levers. I didn't feel like getting out to drop the ramps. Normally I can do a better job of it, but uh, I was uh, not paying too close attention, I guess, right now. So I'll get the Harley rake hooked up and start pushing all this out. Uh, the Harley rake video was about 15 minutes and I condensed it down into a minute or so uh, just to speed it up and try and keep it more entertaining. That Harley rake basically is just a drum with carbide teeth on it that rotates. And the Bobcat version I have has uh, power angle and power depth control. So kind of like a six-way dozer blade or a four-way dozer blade, I can walk material over left or right and then with that center cylinder you see right there in the front of it between the wheels, I can adjust the depth a little bit more precisely than anything else. So once I get that hooked up, you'll kind of see how I walk it over in the ditch more and, and pull that material off a neighbor's property line there and make sure that it all gets put where it needs to go without making too big of a mess. Uh, some of this here, I actually scraped the dirt off the sod without tearing up the guy's grass. Some spots you can do that, some spots you can't just it depends on how smooth the ground is to begin with. But this Harley rake really is the best thing for doing the final grade like this. And with this being on the neighbor's side of the property line, well, some of it was, I wanted to get it good and smooth the first time so the landowner here wouldn't have any troubles coming to the neighbor. So check this out and we'll get busy.
now that the 300 is cooled off, we're going to go get the 331 and tie in our water line and then come back here and cross the driveway with the 12-inch bucket and run our hydrant in the back. It's kind of funny. This 331 has one of the most underwhelming cold starts of everything we have. Always, the first time you breathe on the key, it's running. So once I got the 331 greased and up to operating temp, I jumped in it to finish digging this ditch. We uh, had to short stop it so we could run the electrical conduit underneath this section. So once that got backfilled and passed inspection, I could dig it back up. You can see here pulling the dirt away from the meter box. Make that connection, pull the water line through, and then we were good to backfill and cover once I knew we didn't have any leaks. So this is just quick sped up of course i wish i could run one this fast but uh i sped this up to about 10 times normal just to make it quick and get some operating in while also not uh, being too long of a video and then here you can just see the basement that uh, we're working on where we're going to run that water line to so i'm leaving the basement right now i had to go to town or i've got to go to town and pick up some PVC fittings as well as a rubber fitting for the water meter that wasn't there when I opened it up. Uh, there's a little brass crush washer that's a special size and you can't just go out and buy them. I called the water department they said they'd send somebody out but I'm trying to get one now. Go see what I can find in town with that. I got the water line across the driveway, figured out where we're going to put that hydrant. Hardly raked everything out. So once I finish the water line and backfill the meter and the hydrant, I think we'll be good to be hauling equipment out. I'll have to see. So we've had a busy few hours since lunch. Come electric come in and put the transformer in and pulled the wire. Uh, some concrete subs were here. White House Water Department came by and brought me the parts to fix my meter. Then I realized it still was missing some parts. So I called my buddy at the utility company that put it in. and He's going to bring me some plastic bushings here in a minute. I got the water line covered underneath the driveway. I got the water line mostly hooked up at the meter and dug the water line trench to where we're going to put the hydrant. I thought we were going to run it all the way to the house, but it's probably better to short stop it here for now. So I'm going to get this hydrant put in the ground and show you how that goes this part's just boring bucket work as well but i try to put this in here so y'all don't have to listen to me talk so much and can actually see what i'm here to do uh, one thing i did not mention was when we buried that water line and all these loops here you'll see in a minute uh, i really don't like having any crimps cuts or connectors underground uh, not anymore than we have to anyway so the only ones on this site is the two in the meter box and the one for the hydrant and so once we take the hydrant out we'll uncurl the pipe run it under the house and unless they add something there will be no cuts crimps or connections underground that could potentially leak so i got my gravel in the bucket now i'm just going to pick up on this hydrant and get the gravel worked in there good and underneath it and then wiggle the bucket some too to get some gravel up underneath the bucket get this square and level and we'll be good to go and one other thing you don't want to use a gravel with the dust in it or a dirty gravel this is supposed to be half inch clean but if you have dust in it, it's not going to drain water and it's just going to sit and be worse than actual dirt wood so we need to make sure we always use a clean rock that's what we have on hand but 57s or even 2 inch would be just fine we'll do a check of our meter here we'll get this dude open up read the number that's a fresh meter all zeros turn it slowly Those numbers should be turning, but we're not seeing that. 
Well, if she's all the way open, we're gonna listen. And I still hear some water flowing. Very strange that those numbers haven't read anything. And we're gonna go down here, open the hydrant, and see how it looks. All right. Hopefully we got good clean water. I can hear it, which is weird. First little bit of water is always a little muddy from the tap and have lots of air in it. Now it's running good and clear. I think we got all the air out of the line. We'll slowly close it back. And then listen. Then go back up to the meter. And the numbers, if they're turning, we know we have a leak. So the numbers shouldn't be turning. And once that's good, we're done. Well, the water meter tested good. The grade come out good. The neighbors seem to like the grade job on his side of the driveway. And the electric passed. So we're done for the day. I'm gonna go home, get unloaded, get ready for tomorrow. I appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you on the next one.